Hey people, just making a quick video just to show off a new feature that's going to land in Looking Glass. Hopefully I'll have it stable before Beta 6 comes out, which um, we're getting pretty close to. Uh, we've already got a lot of new features in Looking Glass that will be in B6, such as the audio support, ton of bug fixes, performance fixes. But anyway, as we can see here, Horizon Zero Dawn demo running. Um, this is inside the virtual machine, but this is a new feature. I can stop the Looking Glass service, and we still have a video feed. Now it's not as good as it was, because what's happened is we're actually now getting the video over the Spice virtual graphics adapter. So you can actually debug and work on your virtual machine without um, uh, being able to see the monitor. So if we go into display settings, you'll see I've actually got it configured to duplicate the virtual device onto the um, primary device so um, it doesn't seem to affect performance when we do that you also see in device manager that I actually have both graphic adapters on the virtual machine at the same time if I start looking glass again the host it's switched back over now seamlessly and we're getting smooth frame rates again the other nice thing is we can actually I'll just close that first actually we can actually uh, restart the machine and you'll see that we now also get the um, Tiano Core BIOS preboot you could even do a Windows install from this point so now Looking Glass is able to cover the entire cycle of your virtual machine So there's still a bit of work to do. We need a little indicator to tell you if you've fallen over to um, the slower Spice display protocol. Um, we don't want people to run Looking Glass and not have it working properly and then blame it for being slow. So we need to sort of give an indication that it's switched over. Um, but this, this mode is more for diagnostics or um, you could even technically run two screens on it. Um, not that we're set up to do that yet. You can also um, note that if we disable the video feed we actually have disabled the feed now but we're getting the feed from Spice. So the overhead of capture is now essentially gone. I don't know how much overhead the Spice virtual adapter actually adds to the system. You'd have to do some testing. Um, if it's a problem we'll actually disable the Spice feed too when you disable the video stream. But there you go, we're back on Looking Glass. So I think that's pretty cool, very exciting. Hopefully it'll be ready in time for um, P6 catches.